I'm Tom Ryther. Aren't you? Today, I'll take care of it, all right? You do that. Do it. Things changed when I went to California with Paul. We decided we really do want to be together. I don't have time to teach you how to manage employees. If Frank Murphy wants his job back in the dock, you give it to him. Tell me why you did it. Was it for money or lust? I am not responsible. You're not responsible. You lost. Hey. Until now, effective cough relief usually came in a spoon. Now, Medequel announces the end of the spoon. New Medequel Chewy Cough Squares for cough relief so strong it lasts eight hours long. Medequel took a powerful liquid cough medicine and concentrated it into soft, chewy squares. Each dose relieves coughs up to eight hours, twice as long as regular strength liquids. The end of the spoon. New Medequel Chewy Cough Squares. Cough relief so strong it lasts eight hours long. Hello, I'm, I'm Arvo Redenbacher with my famous gourmet popping corn and my gourmet microwave popping corn in handy pop and serve bags. My special kernels pop lighter and fluffier than other corns. So do mine. Just pop it in your microwave, then pop it in your mop. Mine tastes light and fluffy too. So does mine. Pop my gourmet popping corn or my gourmet microwave popping corn. For the lightest, fluffiest popcorn, there's only one. Orville Redenbacher. We are the Last time on Behringer's. You are not better than Chapman, and you are not better than those people who stole the tape. How much did you charge? Behringer's moving to the West Coast is big news. Believe me, no one wants to move faster this than I do, Mr. Eller. Thank you. You've done a fine job. Thank you. I hope you enjoy being Behringer's landlord. Our news department has learned that model Laurel Hayes has been linked to Mr. Frank Chapman, the Treasury Department official who today committed suicide in his New York apartment. In the dead man's apartment, police found a number of videotapes regarding the sex act between Mr. Chapman and various women. The tapes are explicit. Among the tapes that have come to the attention of this news department is one that features the Julian Morell model, Laurel Hayes. Is it uh, like Laurel to be late? No, sir, it's not. She's very professional and very dedicated. I'm sure she has a reason for not being here. Maybe she's not feeling well. Well, you would know that if that were the case, wouldn't you, Miss Springer? I mean, you are roommates, aren't you? Yes, we are. But I left for work early this morning. I'll have her call you as soon as she comes in.
Pop, we gotta make some decisions. We've got all sorts of airtime, and she is featured in every commercial. Look, I know she's mixed up, and, uh... Look, I got reporters calling from all over the country. I can't keep stalling. Now, what do you want me to tell them? Tell them to go to hell. Oh, Paul, thank God you're home. Yeah. Are they playing this thing in Los Angeles as big as they are in New York? Well, it made the newspapers not quite as big as here. I want her found, Paul. I've never seen Pop so upset. Well, if you find Laurel, I want you to let me know first. I don't think she should see Simon right away. You know, it's as though he's taking this personally, like she did this to him or something. What can we do to minimize the damage to Barringer? Paul, I'm doing everything I can, but I'm telling you, we have billboards all over town. The Julian Morrell girl featuring Laurel Hayes. The Daily News says there's still time for us to yank the Morrell ads, but we have to let them know within the hour. Yeah, we'll just kill them. Put in a cosmetics ad or something. All right, uh, here are the, uh, the forms that you want. Thanks. Where do I know that guy from? Frank Murphy, my new assistant. No, no, somewhere else. He used to work on the loading dock. Oh, Murphy, right. Oh. What's he doing working for you? I thought we promoted him to foreman. He's working for me because he didn't get promoted to foreman. I distinctly remember approving a memo, Billy. Yeah, well, Todd hired somebody else, a guy by the name of Dempsey. What? Yeah, Frank knew he was supposed to get the job. When he didn't, he complained to Todd, and Todd fired him. Todd is the controller. Hiring and firing is not his job. He doesn't have that kind of authority. Well, he does when you're in California. Or at least he thinks he does. He ought to set him straight, huh? Yeah, maybe I will. Hello? Why don't you crawl under your rock now? Someone from outer space who can save Laurel. No, I, I'm sure Laurel didn't want anyone to die, Mrs. Chapman. She's not a prostitute. I'm really very sorry. She was crying. If her husband wasn't such a lowlife, Laura wouldn't be in this mess now. I didn't mean that. It's okay. I understand. Let's go to work. Laurel knows where she can find us. Nobody's gonna buy Julian Moreau with this going on. Julian, we don't know that yet. Her face is all over the subways. People are scrolling graffiti on the Morell ads. We're pulling those ads. Julio, we will save Julian Morell, I promise you. Listen, you have plenty of customers. Yeah, they came to gawk, not to buy. Well, at least there won't be a soul in New York who hasn't heard of Julian Morell. In fact, it's news over the whole country. Yeah, my family's embarrassed to go to the grocery store. People make comments on the street. It will pass eventually. We will work this out. Oh, I've seen how you've worked things out. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't you understand? I'm not like you. I don't have lots of money to give it another try. I can't invest in something else. This is it for me. Don't worry. Oh, thanks anyway. Fine. Okay. Bye. Yeah. I miss California mm -hmm. already. Why is it when we're there, I feel like we don't have a care in the world? Because we were alone. Hello, hello. 
You two are so brave. Brave? Well, to be right here, visible in the middle of the store in the midst of this terrible scandal. What's on your mind, Gloria? Poor Simon. He was so taken with that girl. Or should I say, taken by her. We haven't talked to Laurel yet. We don't know what happened. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I sound judgmental? I really didn't mean to be. I mean, everyone has his or her own moral code, right? And as long as we're true to that. So, um, how was uh, your trip together to Los Angeles? Wonderful. It was a business trip, Gloria. Well, you both look tan and rested. I don't have time for this today. Neither do I, Paul. If you'll excuse me, I'm here to see Simon. Simon? Simon, I'm so sorry. I don't want your sympathy, Gloria. Make me feel even more stupid. But you're not stupid. You had no way of knowing what this girl was really like. <sighs> I acted like a ridiculous schoolboy. For the first time since Sarah died, I began to feel something for another woman. I thought maybe if I got to know her better, I... <laughs> That's a laugh, isn't it? Know her better?